Hey folks, we're cruising, and where are we at today? San Diego Automotive Museum. What's the vehicle highlight? Ackards, oh my gosh. I've got Frankie Patino, she is in charge of social media and too many other jobs. How are you today? <laughs> I'm good, Dave, how are you? Is this an amazing group of cars? It is, it's a great turnout. We have 21 Packards today. Oh my gosh, and they picked the museum to come to? How cool they is did. that? They did, it's really cool, we're excited. Well, that's why more people should come to this museum, right? That's what we're trying to do. We're trying to spread car enthusiasm and get the word out and more and more clubs here. And you, if you haven't been to the museum in a long time, you gotta come back, it's all new, and you got cool cars. We have very cool cars, something for everyone. Absolutely, what's the website? www.sdautomuseum.org. All right, so hey, we're gonna go ahead, we'll chat after we go through all the Packers, but right now, we're gonna go talk to Packer owners. Sounds good. All <laughs> right. Hey, how are you doing, sir? Great, how are you? And you are Greg, Greg Titus. Greg Titus, oh, Reno, Nevada. Any relation to Jerry? Uh, not, no relation. Don't you wish? <laughs> Don't you <laughs> wish if you related? Yeah, he's a big time racer, man. You know, he did all kinds of cool cars. What do you got yeah. here? This is a uh, 1940 Packard Model 120 Club Coupe, which is the uh, flathead straight eight. Okay. And it has the uh, three-speed overdrive, so it's a fairly modern drivetrain as far as keeping up with traffic on the freeway. Absolutely. And a lot of people don't, they're, they're so amazed on how quiet these cars are. So Packard built a very smooth engine. Yeah. You could almost say balance and blueprinted, probably even before balance and blueprinted was around. Well, they were considered master motor builders during World War II. They yeah. built the uh, motors, the Rolls-Royce Merlin engines uh, were mostly built by Packard really? during the war. I had no idea. Man, she's a beauty. How long have you had her? Since 1983. You have to so, save up for another one, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah, so, there you go. There's more at home. Okay. Oh, look at this. All right, what do we got here? It's, it can't be beef. No. It's got to be Paul. How you doing, Paul? Hi, hi Dave. Paul Santi and my wife, Kathy Santi. Hi, Hello. Kathy. How are you? Good, thank you. Does he ever let you drive this? Oh, no. Oh, no. no, no oh, no. No, no, no. <laughs> what year are we talking about? 1936 Packard. This is a five-passenger sedan, model 1400. Okay, and uh, this was for the for the, the the enthusiast or the buyer that had maybe a larger family. That's true. But wanted to cruise in style. That's true, very true. Yeah, what engine do you have on it? This is a straight eight, inline eight, 120 horsepower, 320 cubic inch. Isn't that amazing, 320 cubic inches back then? Yeah. In a straight eight? Yeah. Who would have thought? Yeah. Uh, manual transmission, of course. Yes, sir, three speed. Yeah. Nobody knew what automatics were back in the day, or, or if right. they did, they didn't want to drive them <laughs> anyway. And mechanical brakes. And mechanical brakes. And boy, if you know how to adjust mechanical brakes, you're ahead of the game, right? Constantly. Constantly. <laughs> now, who works on these vehicles? Do you do you do it mainly yourself? I do some of the um, I do some stuff. of the minor, probably non-mechanical stuff. But uh, the club actually has a couple very good uh, Packard mechanics. Yeah, hopefully, that we they're rely in their twenties. Uh, unfortunately not, but yeah. that's what we'd like to do. Yeah, we need uh, to get young kids that love these cars to get enthusiastic to keep these things rolling. Absolutely. All right, buddy. Man, it's good seeing you, and I love your car. It's absolutely bad. And you should drive it. <laughs> oh, I'm the navigator. Oh, well, that's <laughs> way more important than driving. All right, you take care. Thanks for coming out. Uh-huh. All right, here's my good buddy. How you doing, man? Good to, good to see you as always. And it's Richard. Richard Shower. That's right. And Karen. Hi, Karen. So I'll ask you, have you ever got to drive it? Oh, yes. Whew, lady after my own heart. So what year we got? 1934 model. It's a standard eight. This is the bottom rung of the ladder. Car of the year, five passenger, straight eight, flathead eight sedan. Okay. What, were the, what was the biggest engine they put in this vehicle? Oh, the 12. And there's a 12 coming up here. Is there a 12? Oh, I can't wait to get That's to a 12. That's wonderful. But you know, this 8 goes down the freeway, what, 70 mile an hour? Well, this doesn't. This is not geared to do that. 55, but they did come with overdrive. Okay. And with an overdrive, they will cruise at 70 all day long. Wow. This thing is absolutely beautiful. And a lot of people don't realize none of this was built computerized. This was all a hand-built car. Yes, sir. Every bit of it, from front to rear. And people took major pride and, and building a Packard. Yes, and sir. you knew when you made it when you could own a Packard. Ask the man who owns one. Yeah, well, that's just it, too. That's a good slogan. <laughs> and this is above and beyond Cadillac. You know, and that's what a lot of people don't realize because these things are absolutely beautiful. Interior, look how big the back seat is. 
you can camp in there. <laughs> I know. Do you ever get to ride back there? Probably not. I, I have, but but not not often. Not often enough. <laughs> See, we're gonna have to get you back on the road some more. <laughs> yes. All right, buddy. Okay. Beautiful car. Thank and you're you. from the San Diego group as yes, well. That's right. All right. Well, we got to get you come back out. We're gonna do some more things. Yes, sir. All right. Who's this belong to? Come on over here. What are you doing? How come everybody? Now you. What are you? You're Turkey. I'm, I'm Turkey. That's yeah. a dear weird name. And he's he's Beji. <laughs> Oh, and you're oh you're the vegan. Yeah, he's the driver. Oh, you're the driver. Yeah. Oh, you ride the back seat. Yeah. No, not really. Come on, I'm ride the, front. the back seat. That's where I would ride. Come on, that's well, what these cars are all about. Well, sometimes we do that. What year is she? <laughs> uh, 41, Super 8, mm -hmm. uh, 160. Okay, and what does the 160 uh, uh, you know represent? Mm. The engine size. Okay, and yeah. it's a straight. A straight eight. Straight eight. Yeah. Uh, manual transmission. Yeah. Manual transmission. And how is it to drive? It's fun. It's fun. You love it? Uh, yeah, yeah. We're just going to uh, do a couple of things on the transmission, put an overdrive. Oh, yeah. So Maybe you can go more better. than 55? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. But, but even fun. at even at 55, it's just, and yeah. the hood ornament, I mean, everything about this car yeah, is sweet. just beautiful. Yeah. How, how long have you guys had it? Well, we, we work for the Hansen collection. Oh, okay. So she had it for maybe about 12 years now. Okay. We did a full body of restoration on it. That's the upholstery I do, body and paint. How much fun was the whole ground up? Oh, yeah. I yeah, you had to go to Napa, years. get a couple parts, oh, no, no, right? No, no. no, no. You, no. you got to go to the Packer Specialist and get all their... Or you your, make your own part, yeah, right? Yeah, make our own parts, yeah. I'll tell you what, this thing is absolutely beautiful. So when we see you going down the road, we'll wave at all you. All right, thank you. All man. right. Thank you. Thank you. All right, let's see. Who's, who's the owner on this one? There we go. Well, you're, you're dressed accordingly. Yeah, anyway, Absolutely, right. and your name? Lee Johnson. Hi, Dan Lee. This is my wife, Mary Lou. Hi, Mary Lou. How do you do? How do you do? How do you love your car? Oh, I... <laughs> Count the ways, right? <laughs> Count the ways. It is that. It well, is how that. long have you how long have you guys had it? We bought it in 06. Okay. Was it something that you were looking for for a long time, or did it just fall into your lap? My dad owned it in the 70s and restored it. Uh huh. And he bought it as a project to make money on okay and then sold it and it went away and then after he passed passed on we had an opportunity to buy it back you got it back you know, doesn't that make the story just <laughs> that much more uh, right. great and I, I did a lot of work on it in the 70s right did you have to do anything on it when you got her back oh yeah yeah oh yeah <laughs> oh yeah, oh, yeah. And we, i call it a, we're not working I call it a rolling restoration. A rolling restoration. I mean, we were driving it and having a great time. It looked great in pictures. Yeah. And I mean, it's a 41 LeBaron Sport Brougham. Okay. And that's a custom buy, semi-custom oh, buy. Oh, so this is the one where you bought the chassis and you- Not at that point. I mean, it's a, it's kind of Darren, it's like a Darren. In okay. Words, they made 20, they made 20 some odd Darrens. They made 99 of these. Okay. Gotcha. Gotcha. You know, gotcha. So they call it a catalog custom. Okay, well that's that's fine, but it, you still at first you could personalize it to your taste. Yeah, right. I can paint it any color I want wow. and get away with it. Right. <laughs> you know, I've always wondered how hard is it to get that spare tire out of there. It, I don't worry about it because I, when I go places, I put it. You put it in the trunk. I put it in. The, you know, a friend of mine was doing one and he had seven wheels. Really? And, and he takes a he takes a, the, all his tires to a tire shop and the guy goes. How many how many wheels does that car need? <laughs> but it sure makes two, it good. Two of them don't two of them don't go anywhere. They just get a cover on them. There you go. Okay, I gotta ask. They're filling the cover. Have you driven this? No. Not yet. Stick shift. You're still working. Oh, you're not you're not a stick shifter. She can do it, but it's well. I let her explain. <laughs> it's been very yeah. long enough to. You can tell, yeah. <laughs> uh, no, a couple reasons. Um, age and knees oh yeah and it doesn't have power steering and i don't have the i don't know that i have the upper body strength to, to and a lot of people don't realize it. that's These, important it's very important yeah. so. well, you got a nice big wheel but that gives it's you not big enough i don't <laughs> think yeah right there you go then you end up at the gym for the next two weeks right oh, yeah well, but, or so right. or so right. well i tell you what she's absolutely beautiful and it's a great story that you, your dad had it, lost it, and you got it back, and you're keeping it alive. It, it's a neat car. All I mean, right. I, I have a sneaky feeling. You got suicide doors. 
Hey, you want to see inside? Sure. Yeah, Can you open up the doors? We'll get our... Uh... And very reliable. Well, this, see, that's a lot of things a lot of people don't realize. Absolutely. Our classic cars were built to drive and last. You know, it's not like like today's automobiles. First year for power Not at windows. all. First year power windows, okay. Yeah. And what else? Well, it's power windows back then, isn't that 41, amazing? Yeah. 41. The only thing missing is a sunroof, huh? <laughs> Don't you ever do that. Don't you dare put a sunroof in this car. If you're going to take pictures of this, you absolutely have to take a picture of the dash. Yeah, because I think that's, that's pretty much what the car manufacturers did. I mean, because this is a piece of art. It it's not it like is. it's not like today where it's just a car, you know, that gets from point A to point B, and gets good gas mileage. Well, they're they're, they're still making some of the million dollar cars. Well, yeah. yeah the, the, how yeah. much would you know? How much this was new? Uh, I think it was uh, thirty six hundred. Yeah, that's what I was gonna say. And I think thirty six hundred dollars today would be forty thousand. I think thirty forty thousand. Probably yeah. Yeah, somewhere in that area. I see you can smell it too. Isn't that something? That's the clutch. We have oh, to, that's the clutch. We, had, we got stopped on a hill. Hey, wait, maybe he doesn't know how to drive a stick. You better take over. Hey, yeah, well, yeah. we we'll we'll still, still be on the hill if you. Oh, did you hear that? That sounds like dinner to me. Doesn't that sound it like does. dinner to you? It does. All right, well, Just there's a lot of cool restaurants in town. I know you know where they're at. There, this uh, sounds like definitely dinner, wine. Yeah, yeah, maybe a diamond ring on a side. You never know. But, uh, no, that's that would take away from the car. Yeah, that, girl <laughs> after my own heart. You've got a winner here, young man. All right, thanks, guys. This yours? Yeah. What's your name? Paul Mahoney. Mr. Mahoney, what are you driving here? This is a 47 Custom Super Clipper. A Super Clipper, yeah, yeah. and I uh, and there were there were a few of these made. Yeah, he calls his a rolling restoration. Mine, mine is automotive archaeology. <laughs> automotive archaeology, I love it, but it's beautiful. Yeah, thank uh, you. Did you do a restoration on it? Well, it's just that's in progress. Okay, I, so I bought it three years or three years ago in 2018, and and um, is this that something that. you always wanted? Was a Packard? Yeah, and I went bought it sight unseen in Michigan, and all it needed was everything, you know. So <laughs> I've been I've been working on it ever since. But this is the first time we've had it on a good run. From I live in L.A. Oh, do you? Yeah. And you drove it all the way down? Yeah, we drove it down and around on it. They had a tour every day here for the club. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I put a few hundred miles on it. What now. what transmission have you got in it? It's a three-speed with overdrive. Okay. Oh, so with the overdrive, because that's yeah. the only way you could really drive it from LA yeah. comfortably. Yeah, and I can I tell people I can pass everything but a gas station. Oh, I was gonna, <laughs> what? These things don't get good mileage? <laughs> yeah. It gets about 13. Well, like that's that, not really bad. I was thinking no. more in the single digits. Really. Probably around town, I guess it drops. I'm, that's an average. Yeah. But the but. thing about these is the style, the beauty, because the designers that designed and built Packards. Yeah. And, and I will say, I'm not a white wall guy. But the only car that I would accept a white wall on is the Packard lineup. Hey, and then it, it's important to have the wife on board. I've elevated her to sainthood status for <laughs> signing up on some of this stuff. <laughs> yeah, I know because that money goes in the checkbook and it goes back into the car. Yeah, she's not asking me for figures yet. So oh, thank we're, goodness we're for good, that. We're still in talking terms. Keep taking her to dinner. <laughs> yeah. So, and, and look how raked the windshields are on most of these cars. Yeah. From mm -hmm. an aerodynamic point of view, you know, if anything. This style was kind of a pre-war style that they carried over because there was such a demand after the war they could sell anything and they didn't have their new body styles ready right. yet. So this this is the last uh, recognized classic for Packard, yeah, 47. Yeah, it really is and, yeah. and, and it's just beautiful, absolutely beautiful. So, so anyway, we're having fun. And, well, like, and isn't that what it's all about? Yeah. It's very, you know, like very I was time. talking to one of the gentlemen down there, we just got to, now we got to find some kids in their 20s and 30s that, that yeah. love to work on Yeah, 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 that's yeah. true. That's the concern. Yeah. yeah, so you don't have to do it anymore. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they're going to be saying, Grandpa, give me the keys pretty soon here. Oh, yeah, watch out for that Grandpa <laughs> yeah. looking for the keys. Yeah. All right, buddy, well, you've got a beauty there, man. Hang Thank on you. to it. Okay, nice Uh-huh. Oh, look at this. All right, owner of this. Come Who's on. got this hot rod? Yeah, come on, make up. Oh, no, I'm only kidding. Yes. Oh, no, you don't need makeup. Oh, he does. You don't. You're good. And you're hamburger. I I'm love hamburger. that. I'm Mike. Mike Hogan. Hi, say, yes. Mike Hogan, Hi, right? how are you? Yes, sir. What have you got? And you are? Sandy Hansen. Hi, Sandy. Hi. What have you got here? We have a 1936 convertible sedan. It's a 12-cylinder. Wow. Oh, you're the 12-cylinder. So you're going to win the drag race is what you're telling me. <laughs> mm, smooth. 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 And isn't that ironic? Every Packard that came in here, you couldn't hear them coming in. No, they're just clocks. Well, it's because of the way they were built. Mm -hmm. You know, they weren't thrown together. The people that built them were craftsmen. That's what I've always thought. Very much so. Yeah. They're, they're works of art and craftsmen built 
It's a smooth car, very dependable. We're having we were, fun. We were on the uh, tour and we were at a stop and the, some man walking down the sidewalk says, are they electric? I don't hear the engine Oh running. my gosh, can you believe that? <laughs> Did you get no. out of the car and smack him? Electric, is that one? And, but the thing of it is, I mean, it's just it's just rolling art. I mean, that's the way I look at it. It really is, and it's American history. It's yes. great to see them all out and, and doing their thing. And Right. Well, and that's why we're doing this video, just to, to, to commemorate and get this on tape, to let everybody know, and we'll give you a business card here that'll show you how you can capture this, this video that we're doing for the Auto Museum. Yeah. But uh, power top? No power top. Ah! I no just, power top. So that's why you have yeah. her, huh? That's right. And she's we on the right. My teammate. You're yes. on the left. Yeah. Yeah. And you know the other thing a lot of people don't realize the hood ornament on this. Yeah. I mean a lot of work went into the design and making of that hood ornament. Correct. Yeah. We're not allowed to do it today because you know it doesn't pass National Highway Safety and Traffic Administration. But I think that's what really makes the vehicle, you know, stand out. Grace, beauty, and speed. That's exactly right. She is absolutely the yeah. best. So how long have you had her? How long have we long? had her? Uh, we've only had her a couple of weeks here. What? You just got her? <laughs> we just, just got her and came on the tour. And you didn't have to do anything to it? We shook it down and we adjusted a few things. But you didn't have to rebuild it. No, no. See, it just, it just so needed smart. some maintenance and it's ready to go. See, you're so smart. That's the way to buy these things. Because yeah. you can't go to Napa and get parts for these. No, <laughs> you can't. You can't go down to your local auto parts. No, you no got, how many miles you got on her? How you many miles? 78,000. So we've probably got about 80 now. <laughs> yeah, 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 but that's okay. You know, yeah. but, and, and those are just, oh my gosh, I just, don't tell anybody, but this is probably my favorite one. I, I'm just saying. Thank you. Many folks have liked this car. It's it's a showstopper for sure. You are going to have to add on to the house for all the trophies that you're going to win with this thing. Oh, you know my. that, right? <laughs> yes, of course. You already have the spot picked out, right? Uh, we have a big spot picked out. <laughs> <laughs> well, I tell you what, Thank Mike, you for this your is time. so yeah. great to come out and chat. Where are you guys from? We're north of LA, Santa Clarita area. Okay, good yeah. old Santa Clarita. All yeah. right, good deal. So, okay, well, and you drive it down from there? No, we trailered it down, the traffic issues and yeah. such. And You don't want it to overheat. There's no sense of We parked uh, like 40 miles out and then drove them in. All and, right, and, there you go. Yeah, we've had no troubles with overheating. No. Or, yeah, yeah these things were built to yeah, run they do. coast to coast it if really you wanted does, to. does, yeah. All right, well, it's very nice chatting with you, nice. and you're an absolute doll. Oh, thank you. You fit this car <laughs> to a T, let me tell you. Thank All you right. very Let's much. Let's see, who's the owner of this hot rod? Okay, what are you? You're beef. <laughs> and you're salmon. No, like salmon. Uh, you and my wife would get along famously. And you're Jim? Wolsey. Wolsey. Yes. And you're from San Diego, right? Uh, Carlsbad. I think you've been to KUSI with me, haven't you? I, I probably have, yeah. You probably have, yeah. yeah. I don't know, my memory's not good either. Yeah. What, what year we got? It was 1935. Okay, what model is it? It's a 1208, what they call it. It's a V12 oh. limousine. Wow, V12. Yeah. It's a limo? Yes. Okay, any history on it that you have found? Uh, it was exported to Europe oh. when it was new. Okay. It was in control of the Nazis in World War II. It's got a German inventory tag it on really? the floor. Wow. It spent from the World War II to 72 in a museum in Paris. Uh-huh. A family bought it in 72, kept it till 95. They damaged the engine and donated it to the Peterson Museum. All right. Peterson Museum kept it for five years and. Um, we heard about it was for sale and we, bu we bought it. So they didn't do anything to the engine? They, they didn't do anything it. to it, they left it. We had to redo the engine to yeah. uh, get it to go on. And, and that's the challenge, because who works on these things now? Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, but we got to find kids, 20-year-olds yeah. oh, and 30-year-olds yeah. to work on yeah. these things. And we've driven it about 40,000 miles since 2000. Wow. Been well, all over the United States with it. Have you really? Yeah. yeah. And I bet you're a star every time you roll into anywhere. Yeah, well, yeah. We have a lot of fun. Really good ones that come too. Well, there was a lady down the road here. We we're talking to cars, and they pulled up and stopped. And somebody walked up and said, "Is this an electric car?" Because it was <laughs> yes. so quiet. Yes. You know. And also, a bit of trivia: William Dodd, who was the first ambassador, scholastic ambassador to Germany, this was his car. Okay. From '33 to '37. And see, and that's what I love. I love the history of the mm -hmm. cars because they all they all have a story, right? Yeah. So. Yeah. What was this? What was, well, it's probably hard to say what this car was new because it's a limo, and it was How probably much it cost? yeah about forty-three hundred dollars. Yeah, and that's probably what uh, forty-three 
forty to fifty thousand today. Uh, well, it was a house and a new Chevy. Yeah. So if you compare it to that, what is that in San Diego? Yeah. It's a oh million my. dollars. Yeah, easy. So. Well, and, and one thing you'll never do, hopefully, is sell it. No, no plans of selling it. Yeah. I enjoy it yeah. too much. Does he let you drive it yet? Oh, I, I told him if we're going on these caravans, I'm not riding shotgun the whole way. Girl after my So own I get heart. the mornings and he gets the afternoons. So do you get up in the morning and do about 30 push-ups so you get your arms this, all built up? This clutch is, you can push it with your finger. No kidding. And it Power shifts assist. like butter. Power assist. I and, had no idea. Yeah, the V12 Packers all had that. Okay. What about the steering? Is it a little bit of a it's stiff sitting still, sitting but well, yeah, see, rolling? That... If it's idling in low gear, I can turn the steering wheel with one finger. See, and a lot of people don't realize that. You know, when they're having, if they got a car without power steering, get rolling. Once yeah. you get rolling, everything right. will come together. Yeah. So I'm driving the next leg. To I had a funny of... feeling you'd be driving the next leg. Yeah. Well, she's absolutely beautiful. Yeah. And like I told the gentleman down the aisle, it's the only car that I would accept white walls. Yeah. Because <laughs> I am not a white wall guy. Yeah, I yeah. just love her. Yeah. But she's a sweetheart, yeah. so Thank you. keep Thank driving you. and yeah. keep Please smiling. Do. You haven't stopped I smiling since smile. I interviewed you. I love the car. I know you I do. have a 30 Pierce Arrow that I bought. You do? I double clutch. Are you, okay, do you guys local? Yeah, Carl's bad. All right, well, keep up the good work. Thank and, you, David. Thanks for all you do. Oh, my pleasure. Awesome. Hey, can, does it look like I'm not enthusiastic? Uh, no, I don't. I don't you like my shirt? You I like love my your shirt. shirt. And by the way, just so you'll know, my mask matches. Oh, good. Well, if you're going to make me do this, then I'm going to be stylish. That's right. All right. Pretty soon you might not have to. That's right. I'm working <laughs> on it. All right. Who's got this one? Who's the owner of this Packard? There we go. All right. Man, look at this. Okay. Turn her little Packard around. Hi, and what's your name? Robin. Okay. There we go. What was it? <laughs> Her name is Robin. Okay. And I'm Art Rosen. Okay. And this is your? 54 Packard Panama. See, 54 Pack. This was kind of one of my favorites back yeah, in the 50s. Yeah. I mean, look at the styling on this. Oh, yeah, I mean, it's, beautiful. it's just amazing. And then you've got Caribbean, you've got exactly. uh, Patricia. Patrician. Patrician. Yeah, which became, let's see, that year we had, you know, various clippers. Right. One called the Cavalier. There you go. That's the Patrician. So you know more uh, about Pacific, it. I know something about it. You know, them, lots but... of names, fancy names. Yeah. <laughs> but, you know, it's, it's, and it's not like any other car in, in the 50s. I mean, because no. these things kept their personality all the way from the 30s, the 40s, and, oh, the, yeah. and the 50s. Definitely, definitely. Known for its uh, what they call the sore thumb tail lights. Yep, yep, and, yep. And uh, it's the last year of the straight eight engine. Right, exactly. Yeah, yeah. So how long have you had her? I've had it for 23 years. Wow. Yeah. So you do most of the work on her yourself? A little bit, you know, though my last attempt to do that uh, didn't work out so well. <laughs> I know. And <laughs> yeah, it's... You bite off more than you can chew at times. But... <laughs> yeah. Well, then we get to an age where we say, okay, it's more than I can handle. Exactly. Let's find somebody that has a warranty. <laughs> right, exactly, yeah. exactly. At least knows how to fix it. So are you from here locally? I'm from Orange County, okay. city of Orange. Did you drive her down? Drove her down. That's Inside. the way to do it. No, yeah. this trailer yeah. queen yeah, stuff. No, no trailer queen here. So this is I bet you she just car. loves riding in this. Yeah, except when I make uh, hard uh, left turns and she sort of starts falling Well, you don't off tell her. Side. you got to <laughs> tell her ahead of time you're going to make a left turn. <laughs> I know, this thing is Nothing to hold on to. Yeah, like exactly. Well, she's a beaut, man, I tell you. Thank you. So just uh, got the lettering on it. I love it. That's her. Yeah, got I, our initials. Hers on the other side. Caps rock, exactly. Uh -huh, uh -huh. All right. Well, it's lovely having you guys here. Uh, I, I'm just, I just get so excited about doing these things. I can hardly stand oh, it. So. That's great. Yeah, they're beautiful cars. Yeah. Well, don't you sell this thing either. Okay. All right. Otherwise, you can adopt me, and I'll take it. My son's waiting for me. Oh, to die. I knew <laughs> if there was somebody in the wings. Thank you, buddy. I take care of it. Care. All right. Who's this hot rod belong to? Oh, look who's here. How you doing, buddy? Good. Good to see That's you. That's Tom O'Hara. Uh, Man, look at this. What year we got? 1934. Whew. Uh, man, this thing is absolutely gorgeous. How long have you had Thank her? Thank you. Had about 10 years. Okay. Did you get her this way or did you have uh, to throw a few put, dollars at it? Put a dollar or two into her. <laughs> now, this is a 12-cylinder? Eight. Oh, it's a straight eight. Yeah, okay. It's a Dietrich uh, convertible oh, sedan. A Dietrich body. Yeah. Now, this was where you would buy the chassis and then, and then send it to Dietrich? Yeah, and you could get pick what and you choose. want. Pick yeah, 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 yeah. Pick the color, pick yeah. the interior. Spend yeah. as much money as you want. <laughs> yeah, money is no object yeah. when you want to build something that yeah. you want. 
So, how you like driving her? Oh, it's it's so much fun. It's I a bet. joy. It's a joy. Well, and it's a joy for the community because when yeah. they see you roll up in this, yeah. their jaws drop. Yeah, and it's really rewarding. You well, know, sure, and that's yeah. what's so important about the San Diego Automotive Museum is people need to come here. They need to come yeah. in and look at it and see the cars that you don't, don't normally see every day anymore. And uh, beautiful. beautiful. what they did outside. Didn't it they looks, do a great looks job? Looks really nice. Well, how many times have you said something? Hey, have you been to the auto museum? Yeah. And they go, no, where is it? Yeah. Next yeah. to the air and space. Oh, I've yeah. been to air and space. Yeah. So by Lenny getting these nice placards out here yeah. and the the, the the names, let me open, mind if I open your door? Sure, go I'm going to get some, and that's the other thing, folks. I wish you could feel the doors opening on this because they're solid as a rock. Yeah. And the interior is just as beautiful as the exterior. Yeah. It's that's one thing Packard did. Packard built for- They built nice cars. They really yeah, did. That, uh, and uh, just and, honored to own it, you know, and feel like you're carrying on a tradition. Well, of, uh, and that's what your that's yeah. kind of what your job is. Let's see if I can get the back open without getting in too much trouble. I mean, look at the back, a center console. How many people got yeah, center consoles yeah, back in go. that day? Yeah, if you, if you had these back then, you had a driver and you sat in the back. I know. <laughs> well, if I was back in that day and had <laughs> yeah, this car, oh, I wouldn't be in the back yeah, seat. I know. I'd be in the front seat with this thing. I'm telling you, she is absolutely gorgeous well, thank you yeah so well I, I know you're not gonna sell it anytime no soon. no this is forever yeah you got any kids that are after it I got some kids that you know they're not really Packard fans I can hate to say is it that crazy yeah maybe it's just our generation yeah. I don't know I know but you don't want to let it die you know it, uh, you they're don't too, they're too pretty you know? well if they don't want it i know a museum that would love to put it on the floor what do yeah, you think yeah, there you go all right uh, all right thank man. you sir good, good talking to you, you. Too, Dave. all right who's got this hot rod packard where is that gentleman it kind of sort of belongs to me oh it belongs to you sort of what's with the ford hat well, should I get you a Packard hat? I mean, I'll be more than happy to hook you up. And let's see, you are? I am Andrew. Andrew I'm, Wallace. Yes, sir. Where are you from? I'm from Los Angeles, California. Did you drive her down? I did not. Okay. One of our club members did. This actually belongs to our Packard club, to our region oh. of the uh, Packard club. So this so. has got on the side of it, belongs to the Earl C. Anthony Packard Motor Car Club. And how many pickup trucks did they build in the Packard line? Well, in 1952, zero. <laughs> <laughs> this is actually a wrecked uh, sedan that somebody oh, okay. you know, had the back of it was destroyed and decided to turn it into a pickup truck, kind of an El Camino truck sure. kind of thing. Uh, it's the bottom of the line, the, the 200 sedan okay. that somebody cut up. And uh, a little while ago, uh, the person who actually done it was originally a woodworker. So he did a lot of things in wood, built the cab out of wood, all this stuff, because that's what he could do. Sure. But we had a, we had one of our club members got into it, and it started deteriorating a uh -huh. bit and started peeling things back. And you go, this is if we had an accident in this thing, the splinters all over you. <laughs> and the termites would, would all have to would jump take out. Somebody out exactly. So he went. A guy named Jerry Zerlop up up in Oregon uh -huh. took the whole thing apart and redid everything in sheet metal. Oh, okay. And did the whole design repainted the car and put it to how you see it right now. Do you have any photos of it when it had the wood on it? We do somewhere, but we didn't bring them with us. No, 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 but I'm saying, because I'm oh, yeah. sure. Oh, absolutely. Do you have a website up in LA for your club? We do, yeah, ecapackard.com. Okay, so they could go there. Correct. Because after they see this video, oh, yeah. then they can go to your site. And join our club. And you, ownership of a Packard is not required. Oh, really? So you're, you're not, looking for enthusiasts is I'm what you're looking, looking for. I'm looking for enthusiasts. I'm looking for people who like the Packard hobby, or interested in the car, things like that. And one to join in a bunch of people who right. uh, just have a good time. And how about somebody 20 and 30 years old that likes working on cars? They should Wouldn't that be nice to get somebody to work on They should absolutely get involved. Cars? I'm 37 years old. You work on it? I do. Well, and that's good. And it, they're they're dead simple. Yeah, yeah. We well, had a little problem yesterday, and on the side of the road, you can fix most yeah. things. Try yeah. doing that with a modern car. <laughs> no, you got that's what AAA is all about. <laughs> exactly. No, and I think that is so good, because I think you're the youngest of the group so far. Perhaps. Yeah, perhaps. But that's a good Mayhem. thing. Perhaps. Yes, sir. That just shows, you know, the enthusiasm, and, and women are more than welcome to join. Whether Everybody you own a can join. Or not. Well, in fact, we've got a couple of our members from our region who showed up and brought multiple cars, wow. even after their husbands are no longer with us. Decided wow. to bring some cars. At out At least they didn't get rid of them. Exactly. No, and in fact, love them just as much as. Well, uh, I think it's a. I think there. it's a family love affair. It's a lifestyle more than just the. All right. 
just the car. So now you got to put a roof. You got to put a rack on the back, <laughs> and then you got to. No, I'm only kidding. Don't touch it. Don't touch it. I think it's so unique, and I would never change it or do anything. Oh, to it. it's perfect. It's such a. You know, it gets smiles everywhere yeah. you go. And on the back of the truck, on the tailgate, it says the Packard motto: "Ask the man who owns one." I know that's always been a phenomenal motto. Because I think a lot of people are surprised. They look at it, oh, that's pretty cool. Oh, wait a minute, well, it's a that. truck. Yeah. And I think that's the reason you guys like bringing it out. It's a kick. Every Everywhere you go, you get smiles and haunts. Well, I tell you what, I'm totally honored to meet you. The the pickup truck, and and, you're, and I'll and send out that uh, link one more time to your club. ECAPackard.com. All right, so join it, whether you've got a car or not. That'd make a good camera truck. We could use that to go film. What do you think? Ah, ah, ah. You're more than welcome to. All right, and your name is? Henry Hopkins. I was two years old when this car was built. Isn't you're, that something? You're a boomer. I'm a serious boomer. I'm one of the last of the pre-war people. Yeah, were you one of the last? <laughs> so you've got a, what, a 47 Packard? 47, yeah. And uh, is this a two-door? Uh, it's what they call a club sedan. Okay. So this one has a back seat. It's not a businessman's coupe. No, no. Right. They, uh, they made... Um, Four-door sedans, many more of them, and uh -huh. then this smaller, shorter body style, not shorter, but more compact body style, was uh, lower volume. Right, and this front end was was pretty unique for this model, correct? Yeah, they, uh, this was a, what, they came out with a clipper model in 1941, and it was designed by uh, Darren. Mm -hmm. And uh, like the, the, the sedans was pre-war, and then in 42, and then this was, they continued with this model post-war. Gotcha. They stopped making what they call the uh, more vertical, old-fashioned style, like the black sedan down right, there. Right, right. After 42. So uh, this was more streamlined, yeah. and... Uh, was it well, was it well received? Uh, well, post-war, they could sell just about anything. Well, that's true. Make. That's true, but, too. Yeah. But Packard was having, they had a strike. And right. then also GM and the bigger companies were sort of hogging the steel. You think? Yeah, so there's a little bit of uh, uh, Packard had a struggle. Yeah, well, and, and let's face it, when you go up against the big boys, yeah. it's and tough. It was the beginning of the end. This was an independent company. Right. And uh, you know, GM had one for everybody. Sure you know, they did. Income. Yeah, and, it, and it's unfortunate, but it's still a classic, and today it's priceless. Yeah, well, to me, the uh, the vertical grille was always very I, attractive. I, I totally agree with you. And what transmission do you have in it? It's a standard three-speed, and okay. it has a script with overdrive. Okay, and I think overdrive in today's driving situations is Great. extremely important. Great. I mean, you can go 70-plus, and yeah. the engine is going 55. And yeah. so it's not straining. Exactly, and that's. But you know, people, when you fire these up, they don't even know it's running. It's so it's Very so well fine. built. As a matter of fact, yesterday we had a little fuel line problems, and some of the times we couldn't tell if it was on or off. <laughs> but we made it. We yeah. made it. And so where you get where are you from? Uh, from Richmond, California, in East uh, in the East Bay, opposite San Francisco. I'm from Vallejo, so. There you I know. Go. You didn't drive her all the way down, did you? No, no, I've done that in another car and it gets, you know, yeah, nerve wracking. Yeah, well, I'm more worried about everybody around you. That's true. Not so much what's going on well, with your people car. People want to take pictures and they get up too close Doesn't and then they beat the horn and they're not watching. Scare you the, go you out know, yeah, well, I know. Yeah. Well, and they mean well. Well, of course. Now, how long have you had her? I bought this in 2017. Okay. After. Um, I first saw it when I went on a classic car club tour in Arizona, mm -hmm. and the guy who owned it, Harry Clark, uh, he owned it, and I just sort of, I love this. I had a toy car like this when uh, I was a kid, you know? <laughs> and uh, I One thing led to another. And then uh, he sold it, and then it- Did you have to hound him, or did, or did you put no, your name in if he time, did? No, at the time, you know, it's time and money, money. And, yeah, yeah, yeah. And, yeah. And so but being it, in the right place at the right time exactly. it helps, too. It was restored in the 1990s. Okay. And it's pretty much held up. It's beginning to show well, age. But, but that, you're driving it. Yeah. She's a sweetheart. Thank yeah. you very much for Thank coming you. today. Thank my you pleasure. My pleasure. And your name is? I'm Ron Carpenter. This is my wife, Mary. It's Hi, my, Mary. How hi. are you? It's, my, it's actually it's my car. It's I had a sneaky car. feeling it was your yeah. car. I had a, a sneaky feeling. Where are you guys from? Uh, San Francisco area, Alamo. Ah, I'm from Vallejo, so I know right Sorry about there. that. Yeah, I know, crotch <laughs> in the Bay Area, but we won't tell anybody. Yeah. Have you ever been down to our uh, Woody show in, uh, in Encinitas? It's called uh, uh, no. uh, Woody oh, Wavecrest. Wave Crest. 
No. Yeah, we've been there uh, years ago. No. But without the car? No, no, no. We've never been to Wavecrest. They've asked us to come down. It's a little bit too far. Yeah. But, we, but we've been to Woody's in the Valley in Visalia. Oh, okay. That's yeah. another really good show yeah. as well. Yeah. yeah, I love doing the one in uh, 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 Moonlight Beach. I go up there and I MC it and I get all goo goo all over these cars. Yeah. But, you know, for Packard to do a, a Woody station wagon, that was pretty rare. Yes, this is even rarer. This is a Cantrell body. Oh. It's also an eight cylinder, which is unusual. Most yeah. of them were six. Yeah, most of them were six yeah. cylinder because a station wagon back then wasn't considered you know, a luxurious, you know, four door sedan. It was a work car. It was a work car. Yeah. And this has the three seats and this. When, when we rebodied this with the, it should have had a Hercules, but we put a Cantrell on it. Okay. So the Cantrell is prettier. Yeah, yeah. Well, the, the Hercules was more of a work body. Yeah, it, it well, they, they were both basically, but this, the color combinations are reversed. Wow, I love it. It's absolutely gorgeous. Oh, and it drives as nice as it looks. How many miles you got on it? Uh, we put 10,000 on it since we've uh, restored it. So okay. it's been 10 years, 1,000 right. a year is not that, bad. That's fine. So you do enjoy driving it? Yeah, I don't get to drive it too much. Wait a minute, he's, did you say you were the owner? Yeah, but he's my driver. Oh, what was I thinking? Yeah, there you go. Yeah. I just pay the bill. Do you I sit in the back seat or no. do you sit in the front? No, do I sit have, in the front. Do you have to navigate? And I pay, yes, I, yes. Are you good at navigating? Yes. You never got lost? No. No, he, he turns wrong though. <laughs> well, of course he turns wrong. When you say left, he goes right, That's right? right. Well, I tell you what, man, she's an absolute sweetheart. I love it. You know, because back in the day when the war was in, no, that's why they built wood cars because they needed all the metal they could for the war effort. And if you and back then, not the Packard, but back then, you could buy these things for a couple hundred bucks, you know, if the wood was all rotted away. Yeah, back in the 60s yeah. with the street ride. I mean, going to the uh, surfers. Surfing, yeah. Surfers, you know, if you had a Packard, you were a, you're a pretty heavy duty surfer back those days. Absolutely. The craftsmanship of it, I think, yeah. is really what, what, what really stands out. And it's. I mean, like the, the, as we were coming up here, the, the cars come by and everybody's, oh, nice. And then the Woody comes by and it's like, wah, clapping. Well, I'm glad you guys came out because it's important for the public to see these cars. Yes. And this particular car, the guy who built it was a cabinet maker, but he built it like a yacht. You know, he takes it apart, put, he put bet, uh, bedding compound in there, oh, wow. apart, apart, apart together, apart together. Wow. It's as, it's as quiet as a metal body car. I mean, no. like most Woody's rattle and creak. Yeah, rattle no, and squeak. It's quiet. It's quiet. I think it's a little heavier. Very much heavier, yeah. And it, you get in a windy situation, it's like a big sail. <laughs> Hang on, here, yeah, we, here go. we go. Yeah. All right, well, hey, this has been fun talking to you. Great. And I love enthusiasts. Yep. And I love people that are really madly passionate about the car. And uh, hopefully you guys will come back to San Diego again yeah. sometime. Well, it's been a while, but so we love San Diego. Well, where do you go in the museum? It's so totally new and different. Should I tell them you're going to buy the Studebaker that was in there? Absolutely. Yep. Let me see, is it in the right pocket or is it in the left pocket? It's the one with the hole. Oh, that's right. It's the one where the <laughs> wife's got a hold of the bottom of the pocket. All right, guys, right. thank you very Bye much. Now. All right, who's got this guy? That's me. All right, now this is the one with a story. I want to show him a couple things. Sure. Okay, first off, what's your name? I'm Milton Wheeler. Okay, where are you from, Milton? Saratoga, California. Okay, very you good. You probably don't know where that is. Well, if it's up anywhere near the Bay Area, I'm from Vallejo. Oh, well, you're on the opposite side of the bay from me. Correct, exactly. Because Saratoga and Los Gatos right. are the two towns in the Santa Cruz foothills. Co correct. And that's where all the electronic yeah. business people live. E exactly. So what do we got here? What year? The 1947 Custom 8. Okay. And, what and it's all original. And Origi what makes this car stand out? Well, first of all, it's all original. Okay. I, I bought it in 1974. Wow. I'm the fourth owner. Okay. And I bought it from the guy who got it from the family who got it from the White House. So this was a White House car? White House staff car. No kidding. Yeah. And the president was? Truman. Look at this right here. This is where the antenna, this is a White House staff car. Oh, so that's this not a gas, where, gas cap. No, this is where the antenna, the big was, antenna, remember? Right, right. It doesn't look like it, but has it ever been restored? No. Yeah, I was no. going to say, because you can see where the, some of the paint's starting to now, fade a little bit. I, I, oh, yes. There's a reason for that, because it's all original. Right. No, that's what I was yeah. thinking. And I just keep it waxed. Now, if you look at the dash and everything here, it's all original. Mm -hmm. The only thing I replaced, I'm going to show you, is the driver's seat 
cushion. Because it was cushioned, was yeah. worn. Right. The two back seats. How she go down the road? Oh, this thing cruises. It's now. Let me show you something. Yeah, here. This is what this, I like. This car has been. Look at that. Lincoln Highway. Wow. From, from the hundredth anniversary tour in 1913. The and Lincoln, the Route 66. And I've done Route 66. See, that's on my bucket list. I want oh, to do yeah. the route. Well, that's a good route. I've enjoyed routes. I both of these. And I've taken Highway 1 from San Francisco up to Washington, oh. to the Canadian border before. Excellent. In this? Uh, in this car. No kidding. Oh, yes. I think she's in that. And you don't see too many of them with the visor. No, the White House had that put on. Yeah. Well, we don't uh, want any sun on the president. Yeah, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> yes, I don't what know. A, it protected the dash. Sure, I mean, sure, The dash sure. looks like brand new. No, I know. I have five Packards. And Do you really? I, I have one. I have a 48 Super 8, a yellow. 1948 Super 8 convertible. I have black walls on it. Oh, I like that car. I have red, it came out with red wheels. Really? Which I restored. Right. And it has a black top, convertible top is black. And I thought, oh, hey, black walls, I put radials on it. So it drives well. Oh man, I, the 48 I have yeah. is quite a car. Is that with, your favorite? Well, this is my favorite. Okay, all right. But uh, the 48, I drive a lot in the summertime because yeah. I like the convertible. Sure, and, and you're you in know. a perfect area to drive. Yeah, Saratoga, yes. Yeah, well, you can't yeah. beat that. You Sir, I, I want to shake your hand and thank you for coming oh, to San Diego. You're welcome. My pleasure. And I appreciate <clears throat> I love talking to you about your car. And, yeah, you've got you've got a sweetheart right Yeah, here. I know. Well, all thank right. you. I'm my glad pleasure. you enjoy it. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. All right, Frankie, I got to tell you, this has been an absolutely fabulous day at the San Diego Auto Museum, highlighting the Packard car. Yes, it was a great day. We had a great turnout. Well, you know what? You really, really did. And you have such an eclectic group of cars, everything from a pickup truck that's never been to a woody wagon. Now, you got something coming up next weekend. What would that be? We do. The Lincoln Continental Club is coming. Oh, my. We have Gosh. 25 Lincoln Continentals. It's going to be amazing. And hopefully more and more clubs will continue to sign up. And people can go to the website, which is? www.sdautomuseum.org. All right. And folks, you can come to the museum, what, six days a week? Six days a week. All right. So folks, if you've never been to the Auto Museum, you've got to come. And don't forget, stay on top of cruising because you never know where we're going to go or what we're going to see.